Welcome back to Desk Pop, where we're talking about news, at least today. At uh, least today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with my co-host, Angel, that one right there. I'm Angel. And this one right here is Dolfo, or Junior. You didn't call me Dolph today. No. <laughs> oh, no, today. amazing. And Mima, that, shout out Mima on the yeah, back. shout out to Mima. All right, so we got some news today. Yeah, a lot of DC news this week. Only DC news, because... <laughs> only, only, bro. <laughs> that's all I wrote down. No, I was going to no, bring I, this up, that we talked <laughs> about this like a week, two, maybe three weeks ago, where we're like, DC, no news. Good job. No news. Yeah. And now... <laughs> today, nothing but news. Shit hit the fan, bro. <laughs> Bad. They canceled a whole bunch of movies. A lot. A lot of movies. Mainly Wonder Woman 3. Wonder Woman 3 is caught me by surprise. They canceled that one. The other one canceled is Man of Steel 2, which I was surprised about because they had just brought back uh, Henry, Cavill. Henry Cavill. Black Adam 2. So how mad do you think Henry Cavill is? I'd be pissed. Depending because on what they have for him, like maybe they had suggested something. Well, he left the witcher for this 100 percent. he good. left the witcher and the witcher was a good show it had a lot of fans people loved him on that show and for him to just walk away from that because he thought he had a future with dc yeah again. more movies with superman well i think he was gonna walk away from the witcher regardless i don't know if you guys want to talk about this but so the i watched the it. witcher i do you guys watch the Witcher? yeah i like the witcher so he was already having creative issues with with the, with the witcher people because they didn't want to stick to the lore, the, the, yeah, the, the lore they were they were going away from the lore and and trying to do that own thing and trying to do their own thing henry cap was a big fan like he plays the games he was just feeling really bad about not sticking true to it yeah i mean when that's mostly why you join or audition for these type of shows because in the first like the place lore yeah you like where it's i, I go. still think well i thought it's funny because and we're talking about this again, Black Adam. And The Rock and the chingy chingy. He wanted, he wanted Henry Cavill back. He's like, yeah, we're yeah. going to get Henry Cavill back. We're going to get Henry Cavill back. And he, I mean, he. Yeah, we he got him back. Him we got him back. Like, he, he back. stuck to his word. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we well, got and him. we lost him. And we lost him. <laughs> <laughs> and it's gone. And where's that from? But well, I mean, <laughs> About that, James Gunn has said that Dwayne Johnson and Gal Gadot are still going to be in the DC. In the DC. He union. tweeted that, right? But, yeah, oh, no, no, no. He didn't say that. J no. Well, James he said did that. Not say that. He, yeah, he did. No, no. I, I can read you the tweets he said. I have his tweets right here. from the tweet, but he said they're still going to stay on. Same with Jason Momoa. And I saw, the, I saw a tweet saying that Jason Momoa is going to stick around with DC, but possibly not as Aquaman. I already, I already know what he's going to be. Lobo. 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 Yeah. yeah. Do you think the Flash is going to be their reboot? Oh, they're going to use Flashpoint as no. Their I think they're. I think they're going to bring it out just to bring it out, and then they're just going to start over. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I was just going to say it's very telling. So James Gunn is known for somebody on Twitter that if you say something, he's going to call you out on bullshit, right? Yeah, yeah. And the way that he called this out was very telling that he didn't call it out as bullshit. Yeah, because he was like he was. He tried to be very diplomatic about it. Yeah, I and saw. I hope he calls those out because I want him to be because all he said was he was like some of it's true some of it's not true some of it's not true and, and I'm I like don't know. Yeah, yeah. and he said something about haven't decided what's true yet or something like that and I think he's just saying that because I mean maybe he really doesn't know but I think he knows that a lot of the like he they do I we've been he's saying he's leading this. people on yeah I think. I think he I think he's trying to be nice and because if it wasn't true he would say it. Yeah. He would not care about hurting people's feelings because he never does on Twitter. He calls people out for the bullshit yeah. Yeah. on Twitter. And I think it was very telling how diplomatic. Maybe it's because it's his new role and he's trying to be more diplomatic. But Or maybe he doesn't want to give out too much of what he wants to go into. So yeah. what do you think? He, he's usually not like that. He usually like, he'll, he'll tell you. He's yeah. done it before, right? Like well, he doesn't really care about it. He's never done it from the point of view he's at now. Yeah. No, I agree with that. Now too. he's the head of DC. Before yeah. he was just a director at Marvel, you know? Like before it was, you know, at Marvel it was Kevin Feige yeah. who, who ran the show. And now it's him he's in the kevin feige role but he's just outspoken like more yeah. than any yeah, any yeah, director yeah. any like kevin feige doesn't go on twitter and like talk about stuff which i'm not saying it's a bad thing i'm just saying james gunn the way that he really told on himself with the way he said it yeah that and do you think that'll change going forward with no. Zaslav? Being like, hey, like you're the face you of DC. The yeah. No, no, man. No, I don't think so. Either. I don't think, I don't think Zaslav has the balls to do I it. I think it just it's hard for for somebody to like just change. You know. Yeah. He yeah. tweets, and yeah. that's cool. What, what do you What do you think happens with Gal Gadot? I think she's. So I'm gonna say everybody's so, gone. I think everybody, everybody's they're, gone. They're staying in some way, maybe like an executive producer or something. But I don't think they're gonna. As an actress? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, maybe they get recasted as something else. Oh, she what wouldn't she come gonna, on yeah. and they get a producer. If it's a whole different movie, that's... Not, like, yeah, I don't well, think... I mean, I I'm saying they canceled their movie, so whatever they're going to be in or whatever well, they're well, going to do... Well, it's funny is, because we're, we're over here crying about Gal Gadot, but... Uh, I hate we, Gal. We, but, we, we what? Sh I, we, do. I, don't, I don't like her as Wonder Woman. Well, Never that's did. what I was going to say. We watched Wonder Woman 2 on Christmas Day. Oh, yeah. Wonder Woman 2 was, it was terrible. Wonder Woman 2 
Wonder what? Hey, Wonder Woman 84. Oh, That's yeah, see, name. I can't even remember that because I just remember no, how no, no, bad Christmas it was. Day? The first one was great. The second one was terrible. Yeah, it was on Christmas Day at your apartment, I remember. Yeah, we were at your I apartment. hate, I hate Twitter. Remember how bad the CGI oh. looked in that movie? Patty Jenkins. It was fucking terrible. Yeah, it was terrible, dude. That movie was worse than She-Hulk. I was going to say, Patty Jenkins like gets a lot of shit on Twitter because she made Wonder Woman 84, but people forget she made Wonder Woman, and Wonder Woman was a great movie. Yeah, Wonder Sometimes, Woman was a great movie. Did she win a, an award for that one? I'm, I mean, uh, she I thought she was nominated. Maybe an MTV award. I think she was nominated for <laughs> a Nickelodeon yeah. slime. Uh, no, I was just going to say, like, people are really coming for it for making Wonder Woman 84. But, like, here's the thing, guys. Not everything you make is going to be gold. Yeah, yeah. She, she messed up. She's, she's probably a great director. She made Wonder Woman, and that was a great movie. Which is why we're probably so let down with Wonder Woman 2. Because yeah. we had such high expectations for it. Mm-hmm. And because Pedro Pascal was in it. And Pedro Pascal but, was in it. I don't know if you guys saw the tweet today. It literally just came out yeah. hours ago that Patty Jenkins brought in her Wonder Woman 3 script. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they pretty much told her that they didn't like it. And she told them that she wasn't going to rewrite it. And they didn't understand what character arc is. She sent a message with a link to Wikipedia describing yeah. what character arc is. <laughs> she pretty much was calling them stupid. She's, yeah, yeah. yeah. P- Patty was petty. Well, was petty. she has every right to be like. Yeah, no, I agree. Just, well, she's probably going to even be petty even more now that well, they canceled everything. So like everybody on Twitter is like, oh, Patty, like you need to like take notes, blah, blah, blah. And I do agree. I do think directors should take notes because not everything you make is perfect. But you guys, she made more movies than just Wonder Woman 84. Yeah. Yes, that sucked. I'm sorry, man. It let us every, everybody down. But it's one movie, man. So then another, the other, another thing, Jason Momoa being done with Aquaman after Aquaman 2 and yeah, The Lost that, Kingdom. That's but life. he wants to stick around with DC. So yeah. we're talking about him becoming Lobo. Do you think he does that? Do you think he, he likes Lo- the, the role of Lobo enough to where he's willing to stay, stick around? Yes. I was gonna say I'm pretty sure he's already casted as Lobo. Is he? He made a. Yeah, I believe that. What's it called? He made a discreet, like a teaser. It was like a teaser. Yeah. Where he said, "Hey guys, I can't tell you guys, but remember today's date because I got big news for y'all." When like just remember today's yeah. date. Yeah. And I'm sure that's when they he had the conversation about Lobo. At, Lobo. Least, at least a conversation about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do think he's coming back as Lobo. Now, here's my question for you guys because it seems like they're starting fresh. I, fresh. I do think I believe they should start fresh. I do too. Should Robert Pattinson be part of this new DCU or should? Batman no. verse be its own thing. I think the Batman verse and the Joker movie should be its own thing. Like the Joaquin yeah, Phoenix yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the Joaquin Phoenix one should be its own thing. I think they should just scrap it after the second one. But I do think this younger Batman would do well. It would do well with the with the world building because it's and I saw a tweet yeah. talking about that and people were complaining about Ben Affleck's Batman being so old because you couldn't do any building. I, with I agree. Him. Yeah. Because well, it was like I, he's I already old. With, there should be a younger Batman. Yeah. Yeah, there should be a younger Batman. A younger I don't know Batman. if it should be Robert Pattinson. I don't I, I you do already th- know my answer is gonna be a <laughs> Yeah, no. I know your answer is I gonna just, be a no. I love how young it is and I love that they started year one. Yeah, so yeah. they there's year two. Uh, you can, yeah, well you can still <laughs> go up from here, you know? Well, like yeah. I don't you can want, have the next ten years. I know, but I don't want I don't want I don't want them to do that because I just want to see how these Matt Reeves spinoffs turn out. You can still do it. I know you can still do it, but I don't I just don't want the continuity to be messed up. I think Well if Marvel can do it DC can do it hey. I, I, I don't know <laughs> say that for years, but. No I know But I, I, I have faith in James Gunn if I do too I have faith in James Gunn Which is why I hope he starts fresh But we don't even know What direction he wants to go in yes. Are you going to copy And paste Marvel Yeah and, and, and do your big trinity So do Batman solo movie Superman solo movie Wonder Woman solo movie They should hire you uh, my boy. And then build up <laughs> Build up to yeah. To the Justice League Yeah yes. That's exactly yes. they. That's yes. why they messed up Because they that's tried they to be different up. Yeah, yeah they and try to, to be do different. Justice League first. Yeah, without. they were all over the place. They yeah. were all over the place. We the can, the we bad thing with them. all of this is that we already have so many movies already out. Yeah, that it's just gonna confuse everybody. It's gonna confuse everybody. Well, that's what I was gonna tell you guys. So let's say Jason Momoa does do Lobo. What happens to Aquaman? How long will he that, wait? I'll- before you make another Aqua, because do you think Aquaman would be in the Justice League, or do you think they'll be like it's way too close? Let's just I think Aquaman. Let's just not put Aquaman, Aquaman in the Justice League. Aquaman is part of the Justice League, so I think they would have to introduce him. Well, that and it depends on like what kind of direction they're going and how long they want to space everything out. So, do you think they start with Aquaman one or Aquaman three? One. No, I was gonna, if we're it's starting gonna be fresh, one. It's, it's gonna, everything's be, gonna one. be started fresh. Everything's gonna be one. Uh, look, Definitely I just, recasting and everything. I think know. James Gunn is willing to take that bullet where he's willing to confuse people. Yeah. In the na- in the sake of building the world and building that universe. Mm-hmm. You know, I, we're just we're really in the All baby right, so stages. Let's talk, yeah, we're we're completely in the baby stages. But let's <laughs> talk about your Justice League. Who do you want your Justice League to be? Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, obviously. <sighs> so here's how, I would like Martian to see more Man of the Flash. Hunter. I want to see more of the Flash. Yeah. So Batman, that I was going to say Batman, Superman, Wonder Superman, Woman, Wonder Flash, Woman, Flash, Martian Manhunter, and Green Lantern for me. Ooh. 
Green think Lantern Cyborg too. sits out. I would like to see more Green Lantern too. For for six. No, I don't think uh, I can't. original six because it always switches up with DC, which is what I hate. The thing about uh, the thing about Justice League is that they're gonna make it diverse. Yeah, they're so gonna make it diverse. They have to. They I know they're gonna put in Cyborg, and I know uh, Green Lantern's gonna be uh, John Stewart. I already know yeah, that. John for a fact. which uh, we've talked about. We love John yeah, Stewart. Yeah, no, I, I I do. I'm I'm not saying that's bad. So but then who who takes the fall? Oh, are you saying because it has to be six? Yeah. So the oh, Justice like, who, League who, who, is the original who, who, six. Okay. Who's the odd man out? So I'm so sorry, Superman. Okay, I got. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I got Martian. I I don't think Aquaman's gonna be there. So I'm gonna get Martian. I'm gonna get Cyborg, John Stewart, Wonder Woman, Hot Girl, and um, Batman. And Batman. That's a bold move to leave out their their poster boy. Yeah, yeah. Superman. I I think he comes in. I just I don't. I think it's too early. I do think it's too early. I think I do think Aquaman, Flash, and Superman. You have to wait because. They're, already, movie, they're yeah. already coming they're, out. They're, right already, they're barely yeah. coming they're, they're out, bro. Barely and out. Marvel's smart because they're not... They, dude, X, they just bought X, X-Men and they were like, oh, no, the movie just came out in 2019. We're going to wait... 10 years. Yeah, and that's a smart move because yeah. you have so much to do and you don't have to introduce them. No, you don't have yeah. to. And they've been introducing them in the multiverse. Yeah. I'm excited to see what James Gunn does, but honestly, the Superman one caught me off guard too. Just that, like, Yeah, that's the only one that caught me off guard because, I mean, how are you going to hire the man and then just cancel the movie? The Rock tweeted today and he was like, also very telling because he didn't really say anything. He was like, no, uh, nothing has changed or plants, uh, plants still moving along or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounded like somebody that the plant's not moving along. He's in denial. Yeah, he probably, so, doesn't, they probably, he probably doesn't know yet. So he, <laughs> <laughs> they haven't told him. How do we tell him? <laughs> He's been fighting on Twitter a lot this last week because I'm sure you guys have seen it already. Black Adam is like on course to lose seventy five million yeah. to hundred million, some somewhere in that range. Who do you believe though? Because Dwayne Johnson came out saying so that that's what I was going to say. He made seventy five million. So then he went and attacked Captain America. The first I Avenger. Mean, he didn't attack it. He's just saying that they made like the same amount. The same amount, but it was like, dude, like. But Captain America had a budget of one hundred and forty yes, million. Yes, I was gonna say read the room. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is, what was the Black Adam budget? Like, I think two eighty. No, it was like three hundred. Yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was We talked about like it in that. our review. Yeah, it was something. Oh, like we did that. talk about it. Yeah, we yeah, talked it was like about it. Two eighty, three hundred, which it's, it's a double lot. of. Captain America yeah, and they yeah, made the double. same. So yeah. <laughs> you, you told I me. think he's just his ego's hurt. And we talked about that. that we too, talked about I mean, it's, it's, we talked about how he needed a humbling. He well, brought he brought the movie up so much and he just wants it to do good that he's he's still trying to hype it up and everything. The thing is that I think he sees the writing on the wall that Black Adam might be canceled and James Gunn might like go in a different direction. Yeah. So he's trying everything to salvage the ship. And he fought for it. So I look, The Rock, I get it. You're passionate. I, I would be passionate too, man. You fought for Henry Cavill to come back. You mm-hmm. fought for this movie for the past 15, yeah, 20 15, years. 15 years. Yeah. yeah. And like you've been fighting and I get it, man. And it sucks. The thing is that you're just put in a bad position where the DCU is in Not a very messy... Not just even messy, in a bad position. We just don't like him as an actor let's just let's i mean I, i'm not saying i don't like maybe maybe okay i will say you hate him more than us. certain movies that i like yeah i'll, I'll, I'll watch it, the rock movie, movie. Uh, yeah i'll watch i'll watch him yeah i watch him He's but not, you don't ever sit there and you're like wow that was such a good movie like i watch him just oh uh, no I, they're kind of background movies to me you know no, dude i'm not saying which I'm, is crazy because isn't black adam his highest grossing movie Right, it is. Yeah, it is. Right. Okay. I just wanted to double check. Oh no, I don't. I, th- th- I don't think, think it so. is. I think so. Yeah, I think, I think so. it's the Fast and Furious. I think. Yeah, I think it, it's as high as grossing, like as a lead. As a lead, because we talked about that, right? That's why he thinks this movie's doing so good because it's his highest grossing movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's also another reason why he wants us to keep doing good and why he keeps why he's so passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, I think James Gunn is gonna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. When yeah, I think it's gonna <laughs> hurt, and I think Dwayne Johnson's in denial. But man, look, bro, denial, you took it now. I'm sorry, it didn't yeah, work out. I, well, I mean, do think just come back in a different way. No, no, he his ego's too yeah. big. I th- this is the same yeah. with Vin Diesel. That's why he didn't want to do it the Fast and Furious movies again yeah. and did a spin off because he didn't want to work with him. Well, well apparently Diesel, they're like buddy buddy now, but I don't think no, we'll be back in the lies. They're lies, yeah. Lies, I tell you. It's all for the it's all for the chat. It's all for the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I do agree that James Gunn did the right thing. I do think you have to start fresh. It's just gonna be hard with what is how many movies are in the DCU right now? Not enough. Ten? What do you mean like like right oh, now, like in this universe, Henry, uh, you so got we got Man of Steel. Steel, Man of Steel. We got the Batman with the uh, Superman. No, no, that doesn't count. Batman versus Superman. Yeah, Batman versus Batman Superman. versus Superman. Uh, Justice the, League. The Justice, Justice League. Justice League. Shazam. Two. Shazam. No, there's no Justice League too. Yeah. Aquaman. Aquaman. The two Wonder, Wonder Woman. Woman. And then I mean, if you want to do Aquaman and Flash too, that's like nine. And Black and, Adam. And uh, Birds of Prey. And, and Suicide Squad. If you really want to put that Suicide in. Suicide Squad. Both and, of them. Uh, and then probably and twelve. Black Adam. 12. 13. Like 12. 13. I count 13. 13. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. counting both suicide yeah, yeah, yeah. spots. Yeah, I'm, I am too. 
Because they're two different movies. Yeah. I, I don't know why they went with two different. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm telling you, bro, this whole thing has been such a mess. They don't even know what they to do. They don't know what to do. Yeah. At least Marvel, for as much as people shit on Phase 4, at least it had a story and at, it's too big to fail. Well, yeah. I'm not. Uh, no. Nothing's too big to fail. Obviously, look at the stock market of 2008. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying right now that they have a lot of faith. And pe- like people have, a, they had, they, they've earned a lot of our faith. Yeah. That and uh, the world building, yeah, the world building is already there. So Marvel just doesn't; they don't have to build up the world as much anymore. They just have to, you know, continue the story. I guess continue and the they understand how to tell a story. Yeah, and it can not, be yeah, a little yes. predictable, but at least they know what to get you with. Like, yeah. Yeah, at least it's cohesive. Yeah, yeah. Because even as much as we crap, like we shit on Thor: Love and Thunder, yeah. we talked about how it wasn't very good. It's fucking tough. still made seven hundred million. Yeah, and it was. I still and enjoyed 700? it. Yeah, yeah. seven twenty. I, I still laughed. The, the yeah, we jokes. still yeah we still laughed at the movie. You know, as and much as I yeah. as much as I hate Eternals, like yeah, it, it did a it good was, job of building the MCU. Job. DC had a. I would give them a bad week. Well, terrible year, yes, but uh, this week, I, well, I, I'm not saying terrible just because I do think James Gunn made the right choice. I was, no, he no, made the right choice. I, I'm, I'm going to agree with the, it not being a terrible week because this is their way of starting fresh. Yeah. No, that's why That's why I'm not saying terrible. That's why they had a bad week in it the press. It was a bad week in, Wayne, in ways it, that the, everything got canceled. Yeah. But this but, is just their way of starting new. But James Gunn should start fresh. He ripped the bandaid. He, well, he did yeah, rip yeah, the bandaid off, but... He fucking shot but, him and ripped him off. Yeah. And I think, dude, no, he, he, needs, he needs to take the DCU, take it to the back of the barn, and just... And shoot him in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Old well, yeller. No, I, I was thinking of Mice and Men. I forgot what he tells him. But Lenny. He's, Lenny. Yeah, but he tells him something while, while he's looking away. He's like, yeah, keep looking, keep looking out there. Yeah. Uh, and then sh- Boom. Sh- look man I, I was really hoping we wouldn't have to talk about dc but they had a bad week they had a bad week it was it was one of those things where you know you don't have any news at all so you're either gonna have really good news or <laughs> really bad news. Really look bad man, news. They, man these kind the of news. weeks are great for us <laughs> oh I, they're great <laughs> amazing i i i can already I'm see the excited. dc fanboys coming for us in let the them come nah, bro. let them that, come even they know they no they're going to there's people no, that are dude blind. the yeah. snyderverse kids man when they, they when that sad. came out they were upset bro those snyderverse kids the snyderverse kids were like the fanboys they dude. were human, they dude. Were like dude they were turning against james gunn they were yeah. with james gunn and then they were like james <laughs> gunn we gave you this now we're gonna take it away yeah they're like how could you do this yeah dude i'm like, like no, snyderverse come on come on you guys come on let him die yeah the snyderverse is dead well dc fucked it up when they fired Jane, uh, Zack Snyder but yeah. that's a st- story for another time alright guys that was uh, news of the week lots of news terrible news and, yeah, and don't sure forget to uh, like subscribe follow uh, all our um other social medias it'll be linked down below don't get forget us to, to 200 guys that road to 200 bro on the road to 200 don't forget to share it with your mima with your mima and your peepa and your peepa adios <laughs> that's it deuces <laughs> later guys